How to make a narcissist regret losing you. The narcissist manipulated you. They devalued you. They cheated. They lied. They future faked. They stole from you. And you just want them to recognize the pain that they caused you. You want them to recognize what they have done. I get it. I understand. You want them to feel something. Just as you would feel something for them. But you shouldn't really care about what they think. It should be enough that you know they're a narcissist. You know they're toxic. You know they're no good for you. And they're not going to change. They will only destroy everything in their path. But you want them to feel something. Because they've never shown any empathy. They've never given you their feelings, emotions or sympathies. They've always been cold. They've always lacked affection and warmth. But the truth is they're never going to feel anything for you or anyone else. Because they're not able to feel anything for anyone other than themselves. But you can get them to react. Because they're highly reactive. They're always scanning the environment for threats. And they're hypersensitive to any changes in their surroundings. So to get them to react, you need to use reverse psychology. You need to encourage your desired behavior or belief by advocating its opposite. You may have a desired outcome or result in mind, but you need to use reverse psychology for that to happen. And this all starts by understanding the narcissist's mind. They're very sensitive to criticism. They don't like it. So you have to do the opposite of what they expect you to do to get them to feel guilty. Which is manipulation. You're tricking the narcissist into doing something for you because that's the only way you're going to get them to respond. No matter how much they see you miserable and depressed, they're not going to care. They're not going to consider your point of view because they don't know how to understand other people's emotions. So they're just going to take pleasure in your pain. It's going to bring them amusement and enjoyment to see you suffering. They're not going to feel bad for you. Even if you get angry, they're just going to get angry at you. It's just going to make the situation worse. The only way for you to win is by not responding, by not showing any emotion, because then they won't know where you are in the mind. 
they're constantly looking for clues to how you feel in your reactions. They're always watching your body language and facial expressions so that they can be two steps ahead of you because they have their own agenda. They have their own things that they need. So you're not a concern to them. The only way that you can become a concern to them is by not giving them a reaction. And you don't need to react because you already know they're a narcissist. You already know what they're trying to do. And when you go silent, they will know that something is wrong because they really need your attention. They can't live without it. So it will make them react, but they're never going to see your perspective. They're never going to understand how you feel. But you can take your power back by withdrawing from all forms of communication, by realizing that they don't feel bad for what they do. They don't feel bad for anyone. They only care about themselves. They only care about getting what they need. And that's the only reason why they got involved with you in the first place. They never cared about you. They were only thinking about themselves. And as long as they get what they want, they're not going to care. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.